Welcome to BLT Outdoors. This is a Jack and a Henry. Hi. And this is a game winner, Quad Pod 2.0. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I love hunting out of these things. We have a lot of fun with these. They're really the best bang for your buck. Uh, this one we're gonna put out in what we call Lazy River. And we're gonna do a little bit different things. So you can get this uh, blind kit that we had on our other two. We just didn't like those. They only lasted about two years before they tore up. So I'm going to put a different blind on it. I'm going to put different seats in it, um, maybe a different floor in it. We'll see how that goes. But uh, let's go ahead and get her put together. Now we're to the point that we would put the chair together and I'll go ahead and do that. Here's all the pieces to the chair. I'm not gonna use the chair. I'll show you, it's a really nice chair, but um, once I get it together, I'll show you that. When you put it in the center of this thing, it's just not feasible for two people, I don't think. It's, it's gonna be much more comfortable if you have a couple camping chairs in there or whatnot, but got the quad pod and base all put together. This is an adjustable uh, shooting rail. It's really nice, this is where you would enter, uh, you come up your ladder here, right into this. So we'll put all that together in the field. But uh, yeah, let's put the seat together. All right, so this is the seat. Usually, you would bolt this right to the middle of this stand. And then this seat slides right down on top of it. And it's a really, really good seat. It's really comfortable. Two people can sit in there just fine. You could, uh, you can swap the backs and face one back that way and one back this way. So two hunters can face two different directions. It spins 360. Okay. Overall, it's a really good seat. Nothing wrong with it. But, where I hunt, I have it up against the woods behind me that you can't see into. And so I'm never hunting behind me. And I really think that if I don't use the seat and I just put a couple camping chairs in there, it's gonna give a whole lot more space and be a lot more comfortable. So uh, you guys do what you want, but it's a great seat. I'm gonna try with camping chairs instead and see what happens. Next, I'm going to put the blind on and see if that works. I'm using a different blind than that's made for it, uh, but I think it's going to have much bigger windows, and I'll show you that. Okay. This is the Game Winner Bushwhacker Blind 2.0. Let's see if it fits. Hold on.
We're going to have to make some modifications because it won't quite fit all the way, but I think I have some ideas. Stay tuned. It's getting dark on us. We might have to finish this tomorrow. This is a Jack, and this is a Henry, and this is a Miles. Part three. And this is the quad pod with the new blind on it. Hey, Henry, bud, please don't pull down on that, okay? I finally got it to fit. I had to remove some rail sections, the shooting rail, but this is going to way outlast uh, the one that they make for it. So let's go inside and I'll show you what it looks like. You coming inside, Miles? Yeah. You coming inside? Yeah. Yeah. Who? <gasps> <gasps> So here's the chair, and there's lots of room for two full-size chairs in here. And uh, I guess this stays wild and down of the down. So the windows are on sliders, so you can go up or down depending on your angle of your field. We really love these windows. These blinds are hard to find that have these full windows. We finally found some at Academy. So out the front, you have a full 180 view. Yep. Out the front. It's on. And we can click 
this off and windows open in this triangle. Yep, you have a window there. There's a window behind you that's another full size window. Showing to the trailer, yeah. and a window right behind me where that pole is. So we're gonna put some carpet in here. We're gonna put the legs on, and the we're next part of this video will be out in the field. And we're gonna so we got the quad pot all together and the blind on it. Now it's field day. We got it all down here. I got Matt and Denny. We got the quad pod. We're gonna put it up right there, and. Uh, show you the most ultimate luxury quad pod you've ever seen. Stay tuned. We did it. I call this a game winner. We got full, full open windows all the way around, office chairs, carpet. We'll bring a heater in here. That's a game winner. bushwhacker blind that we got on the quad pod as you can see i love the windows in here this is great the problem that we're having is that it's just it's just barely too small it fit in the driveway just fine but we got it on here we're having a hard time getting the door open and closed it's like just an inch or two too small so uh i've got another blind i'm going to put on it and see if that helps let's give this a shot Check this out. This is the Rhino 180. You can see out. They cannot see in. Now this side, I may have to turn the quad pod because the door's back here. And I really want to be able to see out this whole side. But that's easy to do. There's another full window here so I could easily just turn this whole thing this is gonna be so epic also I decided I would dump what was left of the garden this year from the tomato vines right here in front of my deer camera I don't know about you but I think they'll eat it don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time on BLT Outdoors.